The first of the space billionaires rocketing into history in a major moment for commercial space travel. Sir Richard Branson became the first person to reach space in his own ship. Brandy Smith spoke with, a, spoke with a local expert about this new era in exploration. Call it a short flight for man, a huge step for commercial space flight. And there is full stop. When the wheels of VSS Unity touched down to a cheering crowd, Sir Richard Branson popped celebratory champagne. And he wrapped up his remarks with this declaration. Welcome to the dawn of a new space age. David Alexander was watching. It was just great to watch. I mean, it was good. It was a, it's the next step in, in how we move forward. The director of Rice University Space Institute has been keeping tabs on what makes headlines as the billionaire space race between Branson and Jeff Bezos. He doesn't see it as a race. I see it as um, a range, and these, these two happen to be in the news at the moment, but it's commercial companies uh, developing capabilities that hopefully will be used um, going forward for the benefit um, of humanity and society. Along with the logistics of it all, Branson and Bezos are providing something else, inspiration. To the next generation of dreamers, if we can do this, just imagine what you can do. I think that's really exciting. They're actually showing people that it can be done. NASA, Alexander explains, made space exploration feel almost routine. This back and forth between Branson and Bezos ignites a new interest in Alexander's passion, space. Hopefully what it does is inspires and excites more people to think about the value and the benefit of having, you know, access to space. And that's just great to see from my perspective. Just like so many of us, Alexander will be watching again next Tuesday when Bezos hops on board the new Shepard and attempts to go even further into space than Branson did. Back to you.